new this morning, an incredible story about how students in Frederick County, Maryland are learning about the history just below their feet. All thanks to their teacher who is taking his lessons to new depths. WC9 video editor Kimmy Fleming shares his story. My name is Sean Hart. I take a short mini assessment. My colleagues always tease me about what my classes are. So let's just review a little bit of that before we watch. He tease me. Oh, Hart's over there teaching about life. Anybody else need help getting started? The way he talks to people, he's trying to really impact people's lives. I learned early on that students need some time, some respect, and some love. Oh my goodness. Nice. I love him. He's awesome. I'm a social studies teacher here at Middletown, Maryland. Middletown has done a great job at showcasing the Civil War history. At the same time, we'll be teaching U.S. history. I'm surprised that the students don't know more. Uh, the fact that Main Street here had hundreds of thousands of troops march up and down for you know nearly five years on that road that they take to school every day. I got my first metal detector in 2007. I do the research and I see where the troops were. The guys are all running up here. They know that many of them are running to their death. So exciting to dig up that history and think that the last time this artifact or relic saw light was, you know, over 150 years ago. I think that's actually a button from a soldier's underwear. It's funny, you see these a lot. I love teaching and I, I really love metal detecting. I am out here in the cold, literally digging up history for you guys. I just think it's neat to, if I find something, bring it in and share it with the students and pass it around. Just dug a beautiful eagle button. I might give a relic to somebody that I think might really appreciate it. So you can see all of like the details in it. When I feel like I learn about history, it doesn't feel real to me because I didn't experience it in any way. This is real proof that this actually happened. It's not me seeing proof on a screen, it's me holding it in my hand. He grabs his bullet and he drops his bullet. He's not gonna necessarily bend down and look for it. He's just gonna grab another one. So a lot of those drops are what we find. My goal is to get a nice display case in the media center, just like you would see in a museum, so that the students could see it for future generations and also preserving the history from other families and farmers and property owners in the area. I'm hoping that the students appreciate the history that is under their feet. However, it's a privilege students to be to their teacher. I really believe that. Sean Hart created a GoFundMe to cover the cost of the display case. Within a week, the fundraiser had already met its goal. He says he plans to build a display for other schools in the area if donations continue.